With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, the question is, Jaya borrowed rupees 50,000 for 2 years. The rates of interest for 2 successive years are 12% and 15% respectively. She repays rupees 33,000 at the end of the first year. Find the amount she must pay at the end of the second year to clear her debt. So here in this question, finally, we need to find the amount which has to be paid after the second year. Okay, so she has borrowed rupees 50,000. That means I can take the first P1 principal amount as 50,000 here, right? And we are told that after one year, she repays this much amount. So we are given what is the rate of interest for the first year? It is 12%. Okay. And she repays some amount also. Okay. And R2 is given to us as 15%. Okay. Now let us find the interest for the first year. I am taking it as I1. So the formula is P into R into T. So I am taking here P1, R1, T1 divided by 100. If you see what is the P1 amount? 50,000. Right. And R1 is what? 12. And T1. See this 12% is for one year only. So 1 divided by 100. Two zeros will be cancelled and I will get here rupees 6000. Okay, so now we will find the amount she has to pay after one year. So, amount after one year equal to P1 plus I1 that is with interest. So, I can write here 50,000 plus 6000. So, this is coming to be rupees 56,000. But in the question we are given she pays 33,000 after the first year. So, I can write here what is the remaining amount after she has paid. So, remaining amount will be equal to rupees 56,000 and how much she has paid? 33,000. So, how much remaining amount I am getting? I am getting rupees 23,000 as my remaining amount. Now, for the second year, this will be our principal amount. Okay, that means P2. Now, calculating for the interest of second year, year I can write P2 R2 into T2. Divided by 100, what is my P2? We have found 23,000 R2 given in the question as 15 and again for 1 year. Divided by 100, again 2 zeros are cancelled and I am getting the value of I2 as 3,450 rupees. Now the amount she has to pay, so amount to be paid, to be paid will be equal to the principal amount. So that was P2 and plus interest I2. So, what is the value of P2? 23,000 and interest we have found to 3450. That means she has to pay rupees 26450. So, in the question we were asked this only that how much she has to pay up to clear her debt. So, she has to pay rupees 26,450 in order to clear her debt. So, this is our final answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.